Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hermits and Crafting. And we're here at Scar's Frontier Outpost, getting ready to work with Cub Fan today on the dam. That's right, we're going to finally build the super awesome dams behind my base that will hold back the water and create a really immersive and absolutely beautiful design. And also, we're going to be able to expand upon the base into the water and create new channels of commerce via watercraft, which will be absolutely amazing for Scar's Western Trading Headquarters here. And yeah, but before we do that, we've got a lot of errands to do around the server, so let's get them underway. And our first task of the day, of course, is to feed our prisoners. So let's come on down and let's grab the key here. Now, I did get him some carrots and some bread because, well, carrots, apparently they're good friends with rabbits. So let's unlock the door here. Hello, Ren. How are you today? Quiet today, I see. Um, I'll just knock down the door because I am, of course, the acting judge here. There we go. And then hello, Azuma. Also quite quiet today also. All right, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you need anything, you know how to let me know. You know how to let me know. We'll see you later. And we're over here at Beef's house now. He did use his tool coupon as an actual pick. So we wanted to give him a replacement coupon. So one free tool coupon for Skaz Forge. A replacement coupon. And there we go. And Beef has been just killing it with this base. I absolutely love the theme, the style behind it. It's much different than a lot of the other things on the server. So it really stands out. It's actually my favorite color palette. So... Absolutely love what Beef has done. And of course, Etho and him built this cool little airlock door. If you don't know, it's kind of themed to No Man's Sky and kind of the styling within the game. And yeah, absolutely love what Beef's doing. And it's amazing to have him on the server. So I'm walking up this walkway over here and I'm just hopping up each one. And I kind of slipped onto a piece of carpet and it looks like a like a sleeping bag. And that's like a little head. <laughs> but anyway, what's this? What's this? You're just going straight up these blocks? What kind of wizardry is taking place there? I don't know, Zuma's cooked up something amazing there. I have found an elusive cub fan out in the wild. As he strikes the endermen and absorbs their life forces within him to repair his weapons and his soul to ever increasing power. And our last errand on our journey throughout the world here is to Skull's Enchanted Tool Forge. And we are starting a new line of business here, and that is Swords and Swords of the Gods that we have created here. And as you can see, this one is Hades Revenge. Oh, very awesome. So this one, of course, has the Smite. So we're going to put that in here. Now, these are going to be 35 diamonds. Now, look at the power. Feel the power. Look at that. That is amazing. And we're going to move down the line here to Sword of the Gods, Zeus's Bolt of Justice. Very beautiful. So we're going to put that in there. Now, this one, of course, is Sharpness 5 with all of the best enchantments you can get on a sword. So I think that's absolutely amazing. And these have been some requested items here at the Tool Forge, and they're finally in stock, my friends. And there we go, my friends. Now it is time to head on over and meet Cub Fan so we can start working on the dam project. All right, Scar, we're ready to build this dam. We are ready, Cub. We have been planning this for so long. I think in quite a few of my videos, I was referring to it as the spoilers that Cub is spoilers going to spoilers make. So it is time to finally <laughs> make this dam. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm your workman. Uh, you're the guy with the fancy shiny hat, and I'm just the guy with the beat-up old hat doing the labor. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so, yeah, I think we're going to make the dam right across here around this area. Uh, we uh -huh. have to get the shape down and everything, because it's going to be sort of like a concave shape here, sort of like the Hoover Dam. Have you ever yep. seen sounds amazing. Of that? Oh, yeah. So that's sort of the shape we're going for. Uh, we'll have one dam here crossing this big gap, and then another dam sort of farther downstream okay. uh, on the opposite side of your base. Awesome. That sort of will make it make uh, logical sense with the water physics in Minecraft. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah. It should be pretty cool, though. So we're going to go ahead and start to make this out of dirt, I think, to get the shape down. Yeah, definitely. If we can get the shape going with dirt. That's definitely a good building tip for everyone is always to start out with a little dirt. That's why it's my favorite block, by the way. Where'd you go? Oh, really? Oh, there you are. Favorite Sneaking block. Around. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. yes. Very much so. <laughs> All right. So I think we go down to the bottom. We, we are going to put some functionality in this, too, Scar. So we got to make it somewhat, like wide i think like i was saying like seven blocks wide or so yeah now when you say functionality do you mean redstone oh yeah baby well you picked the right person <laughs> to help you with this project now didn't you i think i think i did we're gonna have some different different functionality we're gonna have like lights to turn on we'll have water coming through the dam at various points during the day depending on where the sun is in the sky Ooh, very nice um, 
We'll have water coming through the bottom portion of the dam because there's going to be a little bottom section where the turbines and stuff are. So, so all good dams have like names like the Hoover Dam, the Bonneville Dam. We need a name, so maybe the viewers can help us with a name for this. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So the town, the town name is named Redland. So maybe if they could inco- in- incorporate that into the dam name. Ah, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. I, I love uh, it. Yeah, that that's would be great. awesome. But yeah, if you guys have any great names, suggest them in the comments. Yeah, viewers, you let us know. You let us know your beautiful uh, names you have for this, and who knows? Maybe we can even do dam tours. Maybe even build a like a dam gift shop for this area. It might be kind of amazing. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. So do you think we start from the bottom or the top, Scar? That's what I've... I think we start from the bottom. I think we start from the bottom and work our way up. It All could right, be start the easiest. from the bottom, and then we'll get back to here. Okay, Scar, we have an earthen dam over there. It is looking good. A very natural look there, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of built right into the mountainside. Let's let's fly down there and see, get a closer look at it. I don't think it would hold up very well once the water was behind it. I think it would yeah. uh, not be, it would be a little bit of a mudslide into your base. It would be a Yeah, mudslide. absolutely, yeah. I, I agree, I agree. So we tried to sort of build it into the side of the canyon wall a little bit. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think the, the, shape, the shape's pretty good. Um, you said something about this side where we might put like some rocks or something. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking over in this little corner, this is my area. As you can see, it looks a little derpy. But what my thoughts were that we could maybe add like some rocks and things that the uh, the dam was built around, I think might look kind of nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that would be awesome, I think. Um, and yeah, we still have to do the backside and of course make, the, make, make this out of material other than dirt, I would say. I think that is important, especially with the rain coming. Yeah, yeah. It's been raining here for constantly since we started this project. Yeah, so. it has. <laughs> yeah, we need to get some uh, some different materials like sandstone or maybe just like crack stone. We'll see. But um, we'll get a different material and start filling this thing in. All right. We have decided now, Scar. Oh, we have. Oh, we have, my friend. And uh, I think it looks good. Your decision was the sandstone. sandstone. Yes, indeed. I think it's going to look well. It's going to look well. It's going to look good. <laughs> it yeah. look quite good as the uh, the base color for the... The dam here. Yeah, definitely. Now your choices were the kind of the crack stone and the end stone. The sandstone just gives us more options with like half slabs and stairs and other variants, whereas the other ones are just kind of plain. Plus, we figured with the stone, did the people of the Plood Blow, did they have the the quarry and all those resources to make all that stone? We're not quite sure. We're not quite yeah, sure. Yeah, I would say probably not. So we're going for historical accuracy, quote unquote here. Yes, so, very yeah. much so. Only slight problem scar. Oh. See that sandstone that's on the dam right now? I do. That's all we got. <laughs> that is all we have. Also, we do have an entire stack of smooth stone, but we're not going to go with the smooth stone. So, yeah, scar fail on that account of smoothing out all of my sandstone. Ah, okay, that's no worries, though. We'll go get some more, though. Where are we going to find it? I think there's a sand biome that's, like, dedicated to mining. We oh, can go there I did not know nether, of this. I, I hope. I did know of this. All right. Well, that sounds yeah. good. Better than going on an adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted to go on an adventure, by the way. We could go find. I mean, there's like a desert over there, but I, th- I think False might be planning something with that. So we better not we'll steal just... her sand. Yeah, that, she, she'd probably be pretty upset with that. She does have a mean jellyfish on top of her uh, base. This is true. This is true. Don't mind if I do, Cub. To all this beautiful sand through here. Oh yeah. Great success, Cub. Look at that super structure you've completed. Isn't that amazing? Looks nice. Looks nice. I'm really yeah. digging it, man. Yeah, especially how we got like the swoops and how it's a little smaller down at the bottom. It creates that beautiful like forced perspective feel, especially from a distance. Like it looks really cool. Yeah, the farther away you get, like from over here, it looks fantastic. Like from from a distance, just ender yeah. pearl over. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not cool. I don't have any ender pearls. I'll try and get back. <laughs> hey, I made it. All right. <laughs> Gold medal so, for yeah, ender pearl the... skill. Oh, pro skills, man. Pro skills. Very much. So we got the front of this done, and we got the stuff to take down the dirt at the back. And yeah. we just have to make the back as well. The back's going to be, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. Pretty much the same thing as this, except, you know, a couple blocks further behind it. Yeah, definitely. And I think, yeah, I, I definitely think this is coming out. We can definitely add maybe some accent colors here and there. Um, one other thing I was thinking, I'll just run this by you. Haven't told you about this yet. Um, is if, what if we started at the top? See the, like, I don't know. See how it goes from one block, one block, two blocks, two blocks, then three blocks. Right. That, that yep. last section of three. If we maybe made it get a little skinnier as it comes down by adding an extra layer each row, so it's a little skinnier at the bottom, and then it widens a little bit at the top, so it doesn't like go straight down. What do you think? Thoughts? Viewers? Thoughts? Yeah, I think that could work. I think We that can could try work. it out. We can definitely try it out. And that's uh, with any building. You got to try it out. Always try it out because you can always reverse it. Yeah, yeah. 
Very true, very true. Uh, you want to go ahead and try that real quick and we'll see how it looks? Yeah, we'll go see that and we'll also get some refreshments and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, Scar, the dam is looking fine. It is looking fine. Very, very beautiful. And as you can see, we've got that really cool stair step design. It's kind of outstretching into the uh, the cliff sides, giving it some really good perspective and design there. It looks absolutely beautiful up here. Absolutely, absolutely. Of course, we do have a little bit more details and stuff to put on the bridge. This is just sort of a first draft, I would say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you're looking at this bridge here and you're looking at it, you're like, that's looking good, but it could use some more details. Well, you are right, my friend. Uh, this is just the first coat, and uh, you might also notice that there is some rogue cake. Oh, yeah. Cut. See this rogue cake? Now, this I cake do. here is in memory. It's in memory of Iskol. Now, Iskol was going to join us, but uh, he was unable to, so we have this cake here in memory of him. Um, Cub, this is your cake because I always keep my promises, and there's your refreshments. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, there you. we go. <laughs> All right, so when we left, when we were last here, we worked on this back section. Now, you might notice it's a little plain on the back, but don't be fearing, my friends. That is because the water is going to cover that all up and you won't see it. So it'll be perfect. So it'll be very, Yeah, there'll be water, awesome. water pretty much all along this back side here, going all the way back uh, until we actually reach another dam, which we've talked about building, because we need, yeah, you need two, two dams to sort of hold back a reservoir in this canyon. So, you want, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look, Scar. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. I'm anxious to see it. Because it's, it's caused a couple of little design dilemmas, but uh, I think we've worked through them. Yeah, we've been, we've been sort of debating where to put this a little bit. And how exactly we want to have it formed and shaped. So right down here, we've put up like a little bit of a, a mini dam down there. <laughs> a mini dirt, dam. A derp dam, I would say. Oh, um, I like it. And basically, at that location, I was thinking maybe an earthen dam scar. So just a bunch of dirt piled up, sort of leading back toward Iskall's place back here can you say that one more time because i really like that name earthen dam i like it i like it the earthen dam i love it all right so the earthen dam down this corner now as you guys can see this is kind of an awkward shape as we have the big train bridge going across we've got the elytra uh course through here and then this awkward little uh loopy loop through here so i think this is the best course of action for this spot um and of course we're gonna build the earthen dam earthen right dam here. i love it i love it <laughs> all right well What's next, Cub? What supplies do we need for the earthen dam? We need a bunch of dirt, and that's pretty much it, basically. That's all, all it really right. requires. Well, I'm going to enjoy my cake. I don't know about you, but I'm going to enjoy my cake while you get some dirt, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, Scar, we got the earthen dam done now. What do you think? Oh, I absolutely love it. Still needs a little bit of cleanup on these walls, but uh, other than that, it looks really good. And I love that name, by the way. Still love it. Still love it. Might be 24 hours later, but I still love that name, the earthen dam. Indeed, indeed. And so the the idea with this earthen dam is like basically we'll have these three blocks here that will retract uh, periodically throughout the day, and then that will basically make this happen. <laughs> and so so it's like water slide. Yeah, it's basically like a giant water slide. You can just hop on in here and just. So you may be down. a water slide next to my base, which I absolutely love. So thank you, Cub. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> So yeah, no, this definitely looks good. And uh, if you guys can see up here, um, Cub's still working his way up the waterfall, but uh, oh yeah, last night during the derp stream, of course, I was watching that and I got this whole grunt work done of adding a little platform for us to set the water upon. And so that when we remove the dirt, the water can then just naturally flow downwards. Um, so it makes it a little easier. We don't have uh, ice, of course, so uh, we can't do it with ice. I know some people will ask. I know they will, Cub, they always ask, but <laughs> I prefer it this way anyway. Yeah, very true. Yeah, I really like the way this looks actually right now. But yeah, we have to fill this all all with water pretty much one deep and then the water will fill up the whole canyon below us, correct? Yeah. And yeah, I, I love it because the bottom of this creek or uh, gorge or gully, I like that also, um, it looked really ugly. So it's just nice to see it all covered up and also cleaned up the banks. If you guys have until if you have probably have noticed, you're like, wow, Scar, those banks look amazing. They do look really good. They really you probably like didn't even know a difference, and, but yeah, that's uh, great. <laughs> at least clean it up a little bit but yeah lots of progress cub lots of progress all right yeah i guess the next step then is to uh to flood this whole area uh we'll be making a waterfall over here underneath of the elytra ring this elytra ring the purple one mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to put it like a waterfall connecting up to that lake over there which is gonna be really nice and i'll probably come back and like decorate it a little bit on the sides and stuff yeah this will look really it, good yeah it's gonna look fantastic man yeah, and also I haven't finished cleaning up these banks at all. So yeah, they look ugly. Divert your eyes, Cub. It's hideous. It's hideous. Oh, okay. I won't eyes. look. I won't look. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, 
Time to fill Let's us fill up. Fill us up. Swimming pool time. Okay, Scar, we got the reservoir filled. It looks amazing from up here. Look at that. Pretty, that looks, it's pretty impressive. It's holding back a lot of water. That is a lot of water. Do you want to fly down there and see it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, that looks, yeah, that looks really cool. And I, like you were saying before, it should all look like this. That'd be really cool. Maybe even oh, a yeah. custom uh, dam, like a village. That'd Definitely. Cool. Haha, -ha, extra point went through the electro launcher. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So we got the whole reservoir filled out. We got the waterfall behind here. Earthen dam's looking great. And yeah, I think for now, I think this is done. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. Now you're later going to start working on all the redstone and oh, crash landing. Oh, oh boy. I'm going down. I'm going down, Cap. <laughs> In the <laughs> reservoir. But uh, you're going to start working on some redstone to make this thing do the fancy redstone things. And uh, I'll start continuing to kind of clean up all these cliffs and getting them all arranged um, so they look a little nicer. Some more detail on them would be really nice. And eventually build some boats, maybe some docks back here. Paddle wheeler, who knows? Oh, yeah, yeah. Boats and stuff would be really awesome. And there's, there's a lot of room, too, I think. Inside oh, of this way more room than I thought. Way more. So that's going to be amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Scar. Well, thanks for all the help, man. I do appreciate it. Um, oh, it was so much fun working with you today, Cub. And, uh, yeah. So I'll just fly down into my base. Look at that. Oh, never mind. Never, <laughs> geez, never, never mind. No. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, no. Don't drown. <laughs> there we go. All right, Cub. Super fun building with you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Later, man.